If the Giants ever had anything so organized as an army, Starkath would have been their general. An opinion, in retrospect, I should have kept to myself. But no, as Odin's advisor, I kept him advised. And having bent his will towards Starkath's doom, there was no dissuading him. But even Thor wasn't stupid enough to take on Starkath on his own. No. Instead, the Aesir set forth slanders upon Starkath's name, branding him throughout the realms as a monster to be feared. They said he abducted an elf queen who killed herself rather than be ravished by the giant. Lies, of course, but you're too young for her story. In the end, even the Vanir gods and the armies of Midgard were roused to the cause. They surrounded Starkath, showered him with arrows until he was brought to his knees. He surrendered, hoping by trial he could clear his name. Thor took advantage and ripped off one of Starkath's arms, which only made it easier to sever another and another until he was satisfied. Relieved of six arms and too much blood, Starkath perished upon the battlefield. Ah, I regret it to this day, you know. I told myself there was nothing I could do, but I wish I'd tried. Oh. 